Hello YouTube, this is Draw Talk, and my name is Peyton Cousins, and this is a series I'm going to begin, and uh, yeah, it's called Draw Talk, and I guess its name is pretty self-explanatory, basically all I'm going to do is draw a picture, and I'm going to talk, so it'll kind of seem like one of those, uh, I guess like those speed drawing videos where someone's got like music playing. And they're drawing a picture, and as they draw, like, it's in really fast motion, and you see all the different things that they do for the drawing, all the different details and stuff like that, shading, all that that goes into it. And then, it's also, at the same time, it's kind of going to be like one of those vlog videos that people have, where the camera's on themselves, on their face, and they're talking, and they edit out, like, between every single sentence, so the camera's always changing, and it's like they're talking the entire time and never pausing. But I'm not going to edit like that, because I'm lazy. And really, I don't care that much about this whole YouTube thing. So, I'm just doing this for fun. So yeah, I'm not going to really take the time to edit or anything like that. I'm just going to draw, film these videos, and I'm going to talk, and I'll put it on uh, YouTube for people like you to watch. And yeah, so for this first video of Draw Talk, I guess I'm just going to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Peyton Cousins, as my channel name should say. And that's really, my name is like the number one thing I want to talk about. Uh, I don't really like my name. Because uh, like I'm the only person I really know of with that name. More importantly, I'm the only guy I know of with that name. So I was named after Peyton Manning when he was in college playing for uh, Tennessee, apparently. My parents saw him and they're like, this guy is great. He's going to make it huge and everyone is going to name their kids after him. And they did. They did kind of beat this rush of naming me Peyton before everyone started naming their kids Peyton. But what they didn't expect is that a ton of people would name their daughters Peyton. So... I've met quite a few girls by the name of Peyton, and it's really weird. Uh, cause like, I don't know how many guys have to go through that, but like, if you meet a girl with the same name as you, even if you think like they're not bad, like they're kind of attractive, like their personality or their looks, something like that, and they have the same name as you, you really can't go anywhere with it because that's just weird. And I know, I know, like, most guys, they probably have no idea what that's like. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's awkward. It's a very strange experience. Thankfully, I haven't met that many Peytons, but... Yeah, I'm, like, the only guy Peyton that I know of. And I guess in some ways, if you look at it, there's some uh, positives to that. But, yeah, like, it's just a strange thing. I mean, one time in my sophomore year of high school, I was sick for, like, a week with... It was like bronchitis. It was like almost pneumonia. It was bad. I like went deaf in the right ear for like a few days from sinus pressure or something. It was actually really freaky when that happened. But yeah, like I was gone for a week and I come back into Spanish class and we're doing a warm up. Because we would always start the class with the warm up where it's like answer like 20 of these really simple questions. And then we'd go around the class and answer them as a group. And so like if you... It wasn't like you'd get any points off if you were wrong or anything like that. It was just kind of like a warm-up to get us ready for the rest of the class. And one day, uh, we were doing the warm-up, and I basically, it was, Spanish was really easy for me in high school. So I was really confident with what I had, and we're going around the class naming off, like, the answers, and I was, or basically this is how it went. The first name that the teacher called was Peyton. She's like, Peyton was the answer to number one on the warm-up, and I just rail off the answer, and, like, I'm totally right. But, and I, like, didn't even look up. I just kind of, like, said it, like, as I'm just sitting at my desk. And uh, I think I was working on, like, other problems in the warm-up at the time. And I just, like, quick looked at my paper for what was number one, said it, and then, like, went on. And then, the t like, the class was silent, as I guess it would be normally. But the teacher was like, oh... I'm sorry, Peyton, I meant this, Peyton. And so she, like, points across the room, and I see this girl sitting at the, like, basically the opposite desk of me in the class, and, like, she's just looking at me. 
and it's like this girl is named Peyton and like she so basically she moved there into the school while I was gone from being sick during that week of time that I was gone we had this new kid come in and it was a girl named Peyton and it's like she was the one that was called to answer the question so it was just really awkward everyone was silent I didn't say anything I'm pretty sure I blushed like terribly she looked uncomfortable and I, I think I don't remember exactly but I'm pretty sure the kid like behind me just kind of leaned forward and like whispered to me like "Ooh, that's awkward and yeah it was it was super weird and then there were other times throughout, like, the school year, like, I'd be walking in the hallway, and, like, I'd have, I'd hear people, like, saying the name Peyton, like, hey, Peyton, like, like, what's up? Or, like, they'd just, like, yell the name Peyton, and I'd turn and look, and it was, like, always, like, it was either that girl, or it was, like, another girl named Peyton who went to my high school, and it was, like, it was just, it was annoying. And then there was a time when, like, one of the girls from high school named Peyton, like, joined the cross-country team. Because I ran cross-country in high school. Started in 8th grade. Did it, like, all the way through senior year. It was, like, kind of my deal, I guess. It wasn't, well, it wasn't, like, my deal. It wasn't really that important to me. It was. But it, no one looked at me and was like, oh, yeah, he runs. But I, like, I just, I grew on it. It grew on me. And, uh, yeah, like, one of the girls named Peyton, like, joined the cross-country team for... I don't know how long, maybe a month or so. It was, like, before the season really began. So it was kind of, like, conditioning season. And, like, I don't know. I was just thinking to myself, like, no, no. I, I am the Peyton who runs. It is me. You cannot take this from me. I am Peyton. When you hear cross country and you hear Peyton, it is me. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just, like, I just, I wanted to not lose my name to another situation. But... Yeah, everyone at least always in high school knew me as, like, the guy who draws. So it's like, I guess you could describe me as, like, the Peyton who drew things. Because everyone at high school kind of knew me as being able to draw and stuff like that. So I guess that kind of goes around to the biggest thing about my name that I'm starting to realize over time. And whenever I have conversations with people about my name being weird, they always kind of tell me, like, no, it's kind of cool that, like, you're the only guy or really almost the only person at all that they know named Peyton and they like they tell me like just kind of own the name sort of like make it make it to a point where when people hear the name Peyton because you're like the only guy named Peyton that when they think of like the name Peyton and maybe tying it in with men they'll think of you or Peyton Manning obviously would be the first one but if they know me you know they'll like Make I can make it so that my name, I guess, means something. Because I have a lot of control over what it can be. So, I guess in a way, I use it to be about uh, a guy who is able to draw. He's kind of artistic. And, like, I try to be positive with all my coworkers and stuff like that. So, I I guess I have control over what my my name means to people when they hear it and think of it. So... In the end, really, I don't hate my name, at least as much as I used to, because I still don't like those weird situations. Like, what if in, like, college, because I'm going to Western in fall, and, like, it'll be totally new for me because I'll be moving on, like, out on my own, away from anyone that I know right now. And, like, I, like one of the people I talked to about this, she joked and saying, like, well, what if you meet a girl named Peyton, and she is, like, perfect for you in every way and like but but her name is Peyton like that's so weird how can I date a girl named Peyton that it's it's my own name like there's all kinds of weird stuff with that like what if in the future I'm married to a Peyton and I have kids and it's like both of their parents names are Peyton like this is just it's just odd so I mean she's like yeah well what if she's like perfect for you like she's absolute 10 in every way possible and her name is Peyton I'm like I don't know I don't know it's weird so Weird things will still keep happening, but in general, I'm, I guess I'm learning to, like, embrace how strange my name is and how unique it is, really, is the biggest thing. But yeah, uh, I've just kind of learned to, at least I'm learning, I'm in the process of getting a hang of it, of really enjoying my name, because it is unique to me, and my coworkers at least view me as being a kind of unique person with how awkward I intentionally get at times. So yeah, uh, I guess that's just a basic intro of myself. 
I like to draw a lot. I do, I do actually uh, do quite a bit of music. At least I'm starting to. I really, it's, I don't do quite a bit of music. I started playing the violin when I was a sophomore in high school in May. And I haven't, I'm definitely not like as practiced as I probably should be for the amount of time that I've been playing. But it's, it's like a little hobby of mine, I guess. Every now and then I'll like sit down in this exact room actually and just kind of play it. And I've started, like, I've always kind of wanted to make music. That's why I picked up the violin. I don't just want to play music. I want to, like, make my own music and put it out there. So, in general, I'm, I guess, a little more artistic than most. Because, yeah, I, I do this drawing stuff. And I also play the violin a little. And I'm making some music. And, yeah, I guess that's really the most important stuff to know about me. So, for this Draw Talk series... Just feel free to comment on the video, kind of like what you might want me to draw for the next one, or to talk about for the next one, because I, I am fairly limited for to topics, at least at the moment when I try to think about what I could talk about, for things to talk about for the videos, or what to draw. If I'm not given something to draw, I'm probably going to make something very similar to this every single time that I make one of these videos. So it'll just be like characters from this or like from a comic book series that my brother and I are making. I don't even know what, like this, I don't even know who this guy is. I just drew it and now it's like a person who looks like I could totally use him as a character in something. But yeah, comment on the video what you think I should talk about for the next time or uh, what I should draw and definitely keep it mature, not in the sense of like, Mature is in like what video games would say. Mature in the sense of something that obviously would be comfortable for anyone to see me draw. And topics of discussion similar to that kind of way of thinking. Uh, but yeah, I'll see through the comments, if I even get any comments, this is my first video. See what is the best idea and I'll run with it, hopefully. Or I'll just go with my own for a while at least. I probably will do that. But yeah, eventually I'll definitely start picking up people's ideas for videos, hopefully sooner than eventually. And uh, I just hope you guys all have a good day. So I'll come back to Draw Talk when I make the next video. And uh, yeah, make your comments on what you think I should do. And have a good time. So uh, see you in the next video.